Hi Hunters, today we're going to talk about Nanocore Trojan. As you already know, all relevant and fresh samples are placed in the Public Submissions tab. Type the name of the wanted malware into the search field and press Enter. There are a lot of tasks, but this one is marked with several tags. Let's choose it. Now to get a detailed look at its behavior, we're restarting it. If we look at the name of the executable file, we'll see that the original extension is LNK, but the file name also contains the PDF part. Thus, threat actors are trying to trick naive users into believing that they're downloading an ordinary PDF document without any fear. Let's extract the file to the desktop and look at its properties. There in the target line, we can see the chain of commands which will be executed after the user tries to open the file. After launch, it will start command to run the MSHTA process for proxy execution of the script. So let's pretend to be a typical user and open the file. There is an MSHTA process which has immediately downloaded an executable file and a deceptive PDF file. The last one is used for diverting users' attention and doesn't arouse their suspicion because the loader's disguised itself as a PDF file. Due to the interactivity of any run platform, we can look at the content of the file during analysis. Unfortunately, I don't know Vietnamese and can't share the info with you. If you know what's inside the file, please share it with us in the comments below. The system lets us know that the nanocore was detected. Look at the tag near the file name. Let's open the Threats tab to gather information about which Suricata rules in our sample are triggered. So, there are quite a few of them. And now, let's choose the tagged process. As this indicator shows, Nanocore Rat has been detected by a local signature after creating a run dat file. If we need to get advanced details of the process, we can click on the More Info button and explore the tabs. For your convenience and safety, AnyRun has united all the tasks where the coronavirus is mentioned under the tag COVID-19. I want to remind you that not every file tagged COVID-19 is malicious, but it still is a popular decoy for crooks spreading maldocs. According to our service, the most popular malware, which hides behind the files with the names, is Netwire and Nanocore. Using our search box, you can also find these types of malware. Trickbot, Zloder, Lokibot, Remkos, Netwalker, Agent Tesla, Asyncrat, and the Crimson Rat. We're back to our greatest trove of malware samples. Let's choose another Nanocore sample. AnyRun lets us check not only existing files, but gives us the ability to download by link and execute samples in one task. Let's see what's inside this task. We're restarting this task to take a look at the process tree execution queue. But first, we're changing a couple of settings. Don't forget to read technical advice when the virtual environment is creating. It helps you to make your analysis faster and more convenient. When we open the suspicious link, you can choose the browser where it will be opened. And after starting the task, it immediately opens Download Windows and offers to download the archive file from the provided link. Let's open it. Now we're running the executable file and it started its nasty work. At the process tree, we can see that Nanocore has been detected by the network activity. This detection is provided by Suricata Rules, available on the Network Threats tab. You can also always take a look inside files by clicking the File Modifications tab and dig deeper into files by static discovering. To know more about malware families, you can click on the Tracker tag and it takes you to the particular article of malware. There you can read about malware, get fresh IOCs, hashes and domains, and much more. That's all we wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you found this video to be helpful, we'll be glad to see your likes and your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get more tutorials about dynamic malware analysis. Happy Malware Hunting!